Part 1. White Clouds. Red Wolf Moon. The Flame in the Darkness. Hoarfrost now graces treetops and open fields alike, and an icy chill blown in from the north of Fargus blankets the land. All of Fodland's creatures begin to settle in for a long winter. The setting sun bathes the full winter coat of every wolf in a foreboding scarlet glow. Hunters can now spread the word that the red wolves are back on the prowl. That's what we're dealing with. Is there no chance it's an infectious disease? There are no absolutes in medicine, but the chances are extremely slim. Restless movements, fits of violence, becoming bedridden, or even impossible to wake. With symptoms that varied, there are only a few possibilities. It's either a mixture of poisons or magic, and dark magic at that. You're talking about Ramire Village, aren't you, Manuela? Oh my, if it isn't Gerald. Tell me, what was the first thing you heard? Everything, after you mentioned that it's not likely an infectious disease. My child and I owe the people of Vermeer Village. If something's happening there, we must help them. We scouted the area ourselves. Speak with the Knights, hear what they have to say. I must go. Thank you for your help, Manuela. You know, I'm more than willing to go with you to Remire Village. After all, I owe you my life. If you'd like, I bet we could even manage the mission all by ourselves. Just the two of us. <laughs> huh? Professor! A bit of a tease, are we? A girl could get used to this side of you. Nice try. But I'll be going to the village as well. Enough nonsense. It's time to move out. <sighs> as you like. Goodbye, Gerald. Goodbye, Professor. I'll be in my office making preparations. What about you? If you have the time, it would be helpful if you could go ahead and talk to the knights. Hey, what's wrong? If anything feels off, return to the infirmary. No need to just grin and bear it. Got it? Ugh, what could have caused such dizziness? I felt it too. Actually, I felt that way before. <laughs> I could get used to this. Thank <laughs> you. 
I can't believe I got it right. No, I just got lucky. sometime. I still have talent, I see. I got a question. Yeah. 
You're probably right. Tomas doesn't seem to be here. Oh well, that's fine. I've been researching the hero's relics a lot since we last spoke to him. I found out something interesting. It's about the connection between crests and the hero's relics. The crest stone of each relic is carved with a specific crest, the one that has the ability to wield it properly. The crests are the keys. You need the right one to safely use a hero's relic. The only thing I can't figure out is, why doesn't the Sword of the Creator have a crest stone bearing a crest? Precisely. At least, that's my current guess. There's more. I believe the crest stones might be the source of the relic's inhuman power. When Miklon transformed into a black beast, he was taken over by something that originated from the crest stone. And the crest stone was on his body. It all seems to add up. Now, look at this picture I found in the library. That creature is called the Immaculate One, who was supposedly sent by the goddess to save the followers of Saros. You see the pattern on its brow and the faint circular boundary? Isn't it possible that's a crest stone? If all this is true, then crest stones are what power the ability to assume massive forms like that of the Immaculate One. And maybe the hero's relics can harness that transformative power. Oh, it is you. Have you seen Tomas recently? No such luck. I was hoping to speak with him myself, but he seems to be out on the town. I see. Well... Hmm? Where did you find that picture? It was in the library. Why do you ask? Is it something my youthful eyes shouldn't be seeing? No, of course not. However, that is not part of this library's collection. It must belong to Tomas. It would be problematic if it got mixed in with the other books. I will take possession of it for now. Take it away where no one can see it, you mean? What was that? Well, that's what Tomas said. He said records that the monastery doesn't approve of tend to disappear. Tomas said that? Preposterous. I have far too much to accomplish to waste time with this foolishness. He was certainly in a hurry. I wonder if he's off to confront Tomas. Well, he took the picture, so I guess that's that for now. I'll see you later, Teach. So, the church is hiding something after all. Some massive secret about relics and crests. A secret that must have something to do with the professor's true identity. happy that you invited me, even though it interferes with my nap time. Much appreciated. Mm, makes me sleepy. Mm. Lovely. Agreed. I see. Agreed. <laughs> you are full of mysteries and yet offer no answers. How unfair. I disagree. That was delicious. It feels good to relax. Well, I'm off to catch a nap. There should be no problem. Yes, let's do our best. I thought we did a good job.
I'm beginning to understand. Better than before. How's this gonna help? It's all becoming clearer. I'm certain I've improved. Oh, come on! What'd you do that for? Look, you ran my quarry off. You were hunting? Is the dining hall that short on food supplies? No, but I like to hunt every now and again. Keep my skills sharp. I suppose so. You're from a family of hunters, right? Well, there's no shortage of prey to hunt around here. True. Not many hunters around the monastery, huh? Rivers full of fish, trees bursting with fruit, mushrooms ready to harvest all over. It's the kind of place where you can really be self-sufficient. Guess we can thank the goddess for that. Uh, I don't know. I'm more inclined to thank the bountiful earth and the goddess for such things. The goddess may offer spiritual guidance, but she doesn't fill our bellies, that's for sure. Not a very noble-sounding thing, to disregard the goddess and honor the land. Leone, whose grace do you suppose humans live by? The goddess, the nobility? I'd say it's neither. It's the endless bounty of this magnificent land that gives us life. Won't hear me deny it. But who's to say it isn't the goddess whose protection makes nature thrive? I'm not the most devout person, but I'm not about to go around saying we don't need the goddess at all. I said she gives spiritual support, didn't I? I wouldn't go so far as to say she's wholly unnecessary. But in Elmira, Dagda, Bridget, and plenty of other places, they don't believe in the goddess. Nature is a blessing that knows nothing of borders. The goddess is the goddess, and the earth is the earth. They should both be revered for what they are. Hmm. Look, this is just my personal opinion. If you truly believe that everything depends on the goddess of Seros, that's your... Hey, it's fine. You don't have to worry about me. I'm a believer, but I know there are those who aren't. And I kind of like your way of thinking. Giving thanks to nature and all, it makes sense. I knew a wild girl like you would be able to get behind an idea like that. What, like I'm feral or something? Hey, you know, this kind of talk could be viewed as heresy if it was public. Yeah, probably. We'll just have to keep it to ourselves. <laughs> Ingrid, hello. Yes, Claude? Listen, I know you and I don't always get along. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry if my way of being is upsetting to you. <sighs> if anyone should be making apologies, it's probably me. I've been overly harsh toward you on more than one occasion. As you might have noticed, I'm close friends with a certain someone who has caused me no end of trouble since we were very young. You remind me a bit of him, and I think I've projected my annoyances at him onto you, at times. You're talking about Sylvain, right? Huh. Are he and I really that similar? Uh, not in every regard, no. You certainly seem to treat those of the opposite gender with quite a bit more respect, for one thing. Well now, I'll take that as a compliment. You also speak to me in a much more amicable manner than my dear friend ever does. Hmm. Okay, I have to ask you something, but only if you promise not to show me your angry lines again. Doesn't that straight-laced personality of yours make life harder than it needs to be? I feel like there are plenty of people who'd like to get to know you better, but who are scared off by your, well, intense attitude. Oh, really? Really. I'd say that especially applies to most of the folks you go around giving lectures to. We're all friends here, Ingrid. We all trust each other with our very lives on the battlefield. Shouldn't we try to accept each other? You have a point. I sure do. Besides, with a cute face like yours, I bet you could win anyone over if you just threw out a smile now and then. I've got better things to concern myself with. In any case, you speak as though you know so much about wooing the masses. 
But I would wager that many of our classmates find it difficult to trust one as slovenly as yourself. Oh, another lecture. I see you took my words to heart. Look, let's just call a truce, shall we? How about we agree that we could both learn something from our chat today? If you'll make an effort to smile more, I'll try my best to set a better example for everyone. That seems like an unreasonable thing to ask of you. I wonder if you're capable of such a thing. And it's perhaps equally wild to ask an ice block like you to melt. But let's give it a try. What do you say? I suppose it's only virtuous to ask as much of myself as I'm asking of you. Very well. I accept your challenge. <laughs> Who's there? Oh, hey, Ignatz. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Relax. You're not interrupting. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were training out here. I sometimes come here to practice by myself. It's more like a real battlefield, you know? Shooting the targets in the yard lets you train your aim and all, but the tension just isn't the same. You're right. A real battlefield feels quite different. But if that's the atmosphere you want, I feel even more like I'm intruding. Oh, knock it off. You're already here. May as well stick around while I catch my breath. Ah, okay, sorry. Thank you. Sorry to bother you. You know you've said you're sorry about a dozen times since you got here. Oh, I'm so... Ah. <laughs> it's fine. I guess it's part of your charm. Hey, what's that bundle of papers? Oh, did you come here to paint? I remember now. Someone said you're a great artist. You paint a lot, right? Uh, yes. Yes. When I have the time, that is. I enjoy painting. It helps me relax. Oh, well, that could be your thing. My thing? Huh? What do you mean? Last time we talked about it, you said you didn't have a thing you were really amazing at. But if you like painting so much, it must be a skill you're looking to master. M my paintings are nothing but a hobby. Besides, I'm not that good. I never took art lessons. When... when I was little, I drew a picture for a young girl. The picture made her so happy that I decided to keep at it. That's how it started. So, you're practicing your art to make other people happy? Is that it? Oh no, th that's an overstatement. I must insist again, it's just a hobby. Even if I were to become a master artist, it wouldn't be a useful skill. Aren't you from a merchant family employed by the nobles? I think it would be really useful there. I'm not inheriting the business. My brother is. My father said that I'm to become a knight. So my art won't do anyone any good. At all. Ever. Oh, Ignatz. Well, hello there, gorgeous. You're looking lovely today. Join me on a stroll around town. Aw, is a sweet girl like you doing all this hard work by yourself? That's no good. Allow me to help. Hey, Leonie. Sorry, but I'm kind of in a hurry right now. Hey! Hey! Get back here! Whoa, no need to yell. Do you need something? You chat up all the girls like that, don't you? What a terrible thing to say. I see a girl. I figure it would be rude just to pass her by without at least a wink. Or a nice word. But you knew that. So, I'm going to get going now. See you, Leonie. Wait, now hold on! How come it's not rude for you to just pass me by? Me? Pass who now? Look at me! I'm a girl, you know! Uh... Oh, I see. A girl. You're a girl. Huh. Sorry. I know it's true in theory, but it looks like my brain just didn't want to accept it. But you're correct. You are a beautiful girl in your own right. Yes, that is a statement with which I agree. I am ever so terribly sorry for being so rude, my lady. How can I ever make this up to you? Yeah, uh, hang on, back up. Don't get the wrong idea. Seriously, I feel just dreadful about how I acted. 
This is the first time I've done anything like this. It's shocking that I'm capable of such low behavior. Even if you are a somewhat crude, I mean, spirited girl, that doesn't excuse my... What did you just call me? R right, of course. I'm sorry. I can't believe I was so thoughtless. Hey! Acting pitiful won't get you anywhere. I won't just forget about this, you know. Hey there, Flane. I thought I'd drop by and see if you'd care for a... Now, just a moment, Sylvain. If you must speak with me, I implore you to do so from where you stand. My apologies if this comes across as rude, but please do not come any closer to me. Excuse me? I am sorry. My brother has explicitly warned me not to go near you. Sedith said that? I bet he also told you any woman who comes too close to me is... How does he say it? Doomed to misfortune? He used those very words! Is it true, then? Come on. He's just messing with you, obviously. Of course I would prefer to believe that, but one can never know for certain. Particularly when similar stories are constantly in circulation about you. I have heard that men and women alike have been seduced by your nefarious ways. I hate to suggest my talents are being oversold, but... I have heard that you toy with people's emotions, like a cat toys with its prey. Do I really look like such a villain to you? Well, perhaps not. You do not strike me as much of a charmer. When you put it like that, I feel like I should defend... Yeah, forget it. Let's get to the actual point. Did I not tell you, Sylvain? Stay away from me! It's kind of awkward talking from so far away. Can I please step just a little? Truly, there are countless terrible stories of your behavior. I've heard that you panic when there aren't women around to flirt with, that you've gone as far as flirting with horses and even chickens. Oh, come on. Who would even... <laughs> you should know that your brother has an overactive imagination. I would like to believe that you are a sincere and reputable person, Sylvain. But there is no smoke without fire. Or so the saying goes. I may not be the most respectable fellow you'll ever meet, but... Until I can be certain, please refrain from coming too close to me. Now, if you will excuse me, I must be on my way. Flame, wait! Come back! And she's gone. All I was trying to do was deliver a message. Flame, hey! The professor said we need to come to the cathedral! I'll run really far ahead so you don't have to walk near me! There, I tried telling her. The professor can't be mad about that. We'll do everything we can. Ready and able. Thank you. 
did pretty well. I actually passed? Ah, shucks! I guess I did it! is so, but being here makes me feel quite unwell. I am so sleepy and a bit... It is a struggle merely to stay conscious. Are you feeling the same? And yet, it feels familiar. As though pulled from a corner of my memory. From a time long ago. I simply cannot fathom it. What? Need something, Professor? I was just asking Monica here to be less demanding of Lady Edelgard's time. This... this is my first time working with THE Geralt. The legend known across the ages as the Bladebreaker. And I get to see him with my own eyes. That means I have to try my absolute hardest.
is it? Uh, sorry, I've, um... I've got a cold! How did you know? The act was perfect! Ahem. Alas, tis no mere illness of the body, but a malign affliction of my soul! So, um, back to bed. I've been looking for this! Thank you so much! Your medicine and magical healing are two ways to do the same thing, but it's way deeper than that. Medicine is all about preventing infection and suppressing symptoms with, well, medicine. That's probably obvious. But magical healing is focused on closing up wounds faster, raising a body's vital energy, stuff like that. Hello, Professor. I know that look in your eye. You want to ask me a favor. You want me to help out with your class, right? You just say the word, and I'll help however I can. Don't worry about it. You're just starting out as a teacher, right? It's only natural for those of us with more experience to help the younger generation. <laughs> Hey, Professor, did you see that my father came by during the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? He left soon after, but I saw him talking to Edelgard first. I wonder what they could have to talk about. Yeah, he's pretty important in the Empire. I thought I mentioned it to you before. He's the Minister of Military Affairs. Still, though, I could have sworn those two didn't get along. Remire Village. Is that not where you met Edelgard? If you had not been there, something terrible could have happened. Did one of the house leaders know that mercenaries were staying in Remire Village? I wonder. It will remain a mystery for now. All we can do at this point is speculate.
No. Hi there. I'm going to catch me some mighty fish. Just you wait and see. I didn't catch a single fish last month. But this month, oh, this month. I'm casting my line just as the captain taught me all those years ago. You're going with the captain to investigate Ramire Village soon, aren't you? It feels like so long ago that you two came here. So, I'm worried about Remire. That affliction is a little too mysterious for my liking. I'm pretty sure it's not normal. Then what could it be? Uh, you're good. It feels... This is mine. I thought it had vanished. Thanks. I owe you. Hmm. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Oh, except that Tomas departed the monastery and has yet to return. Consider that reported. He's been gone for periods of time before and has always returned, so I'm not too worried. Still, I wonder what in the world he's doing out there. Yes? I thank you. Return soon, please. Hmm. A moment, please. You seem unwell. How are you faring? If you're not feeling well, I'd strongly recommend some rest. Let me consider. Professor, tell me, is this about Ramaya? There are more villagers acting strangely today than yesterday. Knights have been dispatched, yet... The underlying cause is as yet unclear. And the most anyone can do is stand back and watch. It is most distressing. Professor, what do you think about all this? In that case, we should strengthen the guards. If you visit the village, Professor, please take care. Hmm. Professor, what have you got there? That's... my goodness, that is just what I've been looking for. I can offer nothing more than this. But I do ask that you consider trading with me. I am in your debt, Professor. Professor, I've been watching your class activities, and I wondered if you might desire my help. Just say the word, and I'll pitch in. Of course, I have to be truthful. It's all just a ploy to make it easier to research your crest. Feel free to call on me anytime. I'll be happy to lend a hand. And then you can help out with my class, too. <laughs> it's a joke, Professor. I'd never put a burden on you, a first-year teacher. I 
thought we might make it through last month in peace. But no, another incident just had to arise, didn't it? If only this debacle had to do with crests, why, I'd have gone and dealt with it in an instant. Let me have that. Here, I'll give you this in return. Fantastic! Thanks, Professor. You have no idea how happy this makes me. that I don't have experience, but... Cooking is a bit like hunting, but less satisfying. I see. Hey, Professor. Can I get your advice on something? I just don't know what to do anymore. I used to think they were the best. But now, I can't even stand looking at them. But worrying about it won't solve my problems. What if I can never eat fish again? Oh, hey! I can't believe I dropped this. Thanks for bringing it to me. Oh, hey! I can't believe I dropped this. Thanks for bringing it to me. They say that things rarely, if ever, go according to plan. Still, plan we must. After all, if we don't effectively force things to go our way, nothing will be achieved. How about you, Professor? Are you leading the life you envisioned for yourself? Hey! When news reached us of the disturbance, ours was the first unit dispatched to Remire. We had renowned scholars and accomplished magic wielders with us. In all honesty, I was scared witless the entire time. For all we knew, it was an epidemic like the rumors suggested. And rumors aside, that place had an eerie air about it that chilled you right to the bone. Investigating Ramire Village? Be on your guard. Hey! fish, and the meal we indulged in after the battle of the eagle and lion? Why, all of the food I've eaten in this monastery has been absolutely delectable. Every last bite of it. <laughs> food really is the only thing you think about, huh? Uh, hardly. I think about all sorts of things. Oh, like tomorrow's menu, for instance? Why, oh. <laughs> oh, I have a request.
Professor? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations on winning the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Did you get a special reward? I certainly feel like I earned a special reward. Don't you, Professor? Oh, disappointing. village is an empire territory, but it's still relatively close to the monastery. Oh, but you know all about that, don't you? The story goes that it was in Mermire village that Alois found you. Professor, the Battle of the Eagle and Lion was such good fun, don't you think? Ignatz, how long are you going to keep harping on about the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? Oh, come on, let me gush. Did you see how the house leaders came together after the battle? What an incredible... about these days and just when I had some questions about a book I'd borrowed Ugh, now I'm so curious about where he's gone off to he better come back soon to be part of your class, Professor. I honestly cannot recall the last time I interacted with others on a daily basis like this. It reminds me of when I was a child. <laughs> that was so very long ago now. Oh, I mean very. Very, very, very long ago. about Remire Village from some of the knights. It's certainly troubling. If it's a contagion, we at Garrick Mock should be on the lookout as well. Your words are oddly persuasive, Professor, even if they're not exactly based on anything. How are you feeling, Professor? You look rather ill, if you don't mind my saying so. Are you sick? If so, I would urge you not to push yourself too hard. Take some rest. Just my natural talent, nothing out of the ordinary. Enough wit now. You should lie down. Thank you. I am here for the invitation. 
a fresh and fruity aroma. Oh, yes, this is my kind of tea. Thank you. Settles nicely on the palate. Indeed. Splendid. Indeed. 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 This hairstyle so much, perhaps you should try it for yourself? Professor. <laughs> this was wonderful. Next time, I will provide the tea. Farewell. Thank you for bringing this to me. Mm -hmm. Boo. Huh? Mm. You do not look well. Are you sure you aren't coming down with a cold or some other ailment? Please, visit a doctor before your situation worsens. I suppose the infirmary is also an option. Though when I went there the other day, I was unable to receive medical guidance, as Professor Manuela was drunk and fast asleep on the floor. I could use your help. Professor, you look a little pale. Please be careful. It's so easy to catch a cold this time of year. Pardon me. Hello there. What is it? I am in the middle of my daily duties. I assume you know by now that the Four Saints are all important figures in the teachings of Seros. Still, I have a particular fondness for Saint Sethlene. I have something to ask of you. Not sure I should sing with everyone. I'm not great at harmonizing. Singing is so much fun. Everyone should enjoy themselves while they're doing it. During the Red Wolf Moon, wild monsters make ready for the winter to come, stirring more than at any other time of the year. You are off for Ramire Village, isn't that right? 
Watch your step on that journey. May the goddess protect all of you. of mysteriousness. I have awareness of how much difference every part of the world is. In a place alike to this place, you can imagine the goddess of Fodlin truly existing. At times I miss those places in Bridget. At times, I am missing those places so painfully. I spend all of my time rummaging through this library, there's a limit to the knowledge that can be gained. Apparently, it only contains books whose contents have been deemed appropriate by the church. If only Tomas were around, I bet he has some interesting stories he could regale us with. I fear I may become a social recluse soon. My life consists of wearing a groove in the floor between the library and the dining hall. Although I guess a real recluse wouldn't leave their room, eh? Oh, thank you. I gave up hope of ever finding it. Meyer Village is faring. Hopefully we're not dealing with some new epidemic. It wouldn't be unheard of. Almost 20 years ago, a terrible plague blazed through Fargus. It even hit the capital city, taking the queen consort's life. Or so I heard. The whole kingdom was in an uproar over that loss. The person who saved the kingdom wasn't a doctor, but a holy woman, the fair Lady Cornelia. After that, she was awarded the honor of being a mage in the service of the royal family. She sounds like an amazing woman, but she must be pretty old by now. But hey, maybe she's aged like a fine wine. Oh, that's mine! Oh, thanks, Professor. You really saved the day. Professor, I picked this up, but... Oh, hey! It worked out perfectly! Wanna trade me what you're holding for it? Thanks, Professor! This is great! Hey, that's mine! Thanks for finding it. The knights go out from Garrig Mach to take on all kinds of other duties. I'd sure like a job like that one day. Then again, I don't know. Serving Lady Rhea here is pretty good. just told me. Remire Village is in a bad way, right? The situation there is worrying, yes. But tell me, how was your vertigo? 
Are you not feeling okay? You should get some rest. Hmm. If you must go to the village, make sure you're in good health before we depart. Professor, do you ever wish you could return to your life as a mercenary? Is that so? I suppose you have become accustomed to your new line of work. This month's assignment will again take you outside of Garrick Mach, to Ramire Village. It was in Ramire that you first met Alois and the rest of his order, was it not? Half a year has come and gone since then. How quickly time passes. I appreciate this. Impressive. Thanks. Huh? Hello, Professor. What's that you've got there? Would you mind trading it with me for this? Oh, thank you so much. I'll be sure to take great care of it. of a bother would you trade it for this thank you so much i'll treasure it forever that's a nice thing you have there professor don't suppose you're planning on using it yourself why don't you trade it for this sounds good right Excellent doing business with you, Professor. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. For the four or five years since I started here, this is certainly the busiest. It was four. I've been here five. Ah, what's a year here or there? Don't be petty now, Shamir. You count your enemies the same way. If I take care of them quickly, what does it matter how many there are? Oh, sorry. We didn't mean to ignore you, Professor. As you were saying, it's been a busy year. There never seemed to be enough hands for the work. That reminds me. Do you have that thing? If you do, we want it. Want? No, we need it. Give it to me, not her. Hey now, I'm the one who brought it up. We may be friends, but that's just rude. I have a favor to ask. You brought it, Professor? 
Hand it over and I'll make it worth your while. How? You can't even afford your own drinks. Give it here. You won't regret it. Excuse me? I asked first. Why don't we let the professor decide? Her? <sighs> what a letdown. You made the right choice. Here's your reward. I'll let you borrow it later, Catherine. If you quit sulking. Thanks. Looks delicious. Goddess, forgive me. I've just got to indulge. Eating is life. Literally, you die without it. And I'm always happy to share a meal with you. dish it was my father's favorite delicious after a scrumptious meal like that I feel that I can really seize the day Delicious food really takes my worries away. That looks appetizing. a revelation <laughs> I can't help but smile when I eat it yummy who made this I'll have to give my compliments to the chef I am so happy to be part of your class professor Honestly, cannot it reminds me. <gasps> oh, that is mine. Thank you so very much. Turn up. Thank you for getting it back to me. Mm. 
Okay. <laughs> Congratulations on I search. How did you know I lost this? Thank you for bringing it back to me. What is it? I assume still. Yes, this is mine. Thank you for returning it. Need something? This one? You're all set. See you again soon. got lucky. to your help. I'm that great? It's... It's...
You're certainly not going easy on me. You fight like a mercenary, not a knight. You hunger for victory, pure and simple. You may not be aware of it yourself, but I see it. Indeed. Knights ought to have some hunger. I've always thought so. They depend too much on their swords. Only when they're rested away do knights consider their hands and feet as weapons. That's not how it was for warriors of old. They weren't limited by their tools. Victory is what matters, not the method of achieving it. That's the attitude to adopt. I detect that in your style. It is plain to see. You may take it however you like. I believe the difference between us lies within that hunger. But where does it come from? From the start, I was aiming to win. Yet I couldn't defeat you. Then I remembered something you said before. Indeed. I was raised to value strength above all else. Whereas you had a reason, an ambition, pushing you toward that hunger. So tell me, what was the reason? Why were you driven to become so strong? That's a mercenary's answer, to be sure. So that is the source of your hunger. I suppose I must find my own. Ah, uh, if we're to get along, I think not. I'll be content if you continue to train with me. Perhaps it will come to me as I swing my sword. Well, we did it. I think I get it now. Oh, <laughs> I see now. I can't believe I did it!
I passed. Delicious. I'm so content in this moment. Uh, Felix! Lysithia, you look mortified. How long have you been there? Were you watching me? You were, weren't you? I was, yes. Uh, for once, I thought I had some privacy. Did you say something? What's this for? I'm buying your silence. With cake. Take it. I'm not sure what to be silent about. If people knew I was shoveling cake into my face by the fistful, they'd think me nothing more than a child. Adults eat cake. You'll never understand. Just take this, will you? No, I don't like sweets. Does your refusal mean you'll be telling everyone about my cake-shoveling ways? I just don't like sweets, that's all. Nonsense. Nobody can resist something so delicious. Look, I'm giving you this cake whether you like it or not. Eat it, toss it, throw it at an unsuspecting victim. The choice is yours. Just please don't mention this to anyone. What was her problem? What am I supposed to do with this cake? What's that name again? Oh, this is frustrating me to no end. I simply can't recall. 
Oh, I have it. Xanado. That's it. It was not long ago that we were there. And still, I somehow managed to forget. Well, that place brought back some fragments of my memory. I cannot help but wonder why. I feel we must return to find some answers there. Yes, you are right. For as the saying goes, there is no time like the present. Huh. Where's our professor going all alone like that? I hate not knowing what's going on. Okay, that's it. Let's gather the others and get to the bottom of this. You want to follow our teacher? What a pain. Ugh. But I guess I'm dying of curiosity, too. Yes, it is all coming back to me. This structure... Oh, but it's as though my memories are clouded. The most important pieces are obscured. But I once called this home. I have no doubt. I seem to recall something... on the other side of that wall. I cannot see it, but I can still feel it. It is not my imagination. I know this to be true. We are already deep within this valley. Oh, what was that awful sound? Yes, and that was not a normal beast, but a huge and terrifying one. Look, there, at the entrance of the valley, a giant shadow! to start over again. I am always up for a new adventure. as often as necessary.
What is it now? Those hungry wolves. That howl must have riled them up. We have no choice but to fight our way out. Give it your all! It was a right move for us to follow Teach. But however you look at it, we're in a tough spot now. Wolves, hawks, not to mention a demonic beast guarding the canyon's entrance. Oh, we should never have come here. Don't say that. But what's a demonic beast doing here? Is it a stray? Even Teach would have trouble out here all alone. Let's help out before we're down one professor. First things first, we need to reunite with Teach. Hurry up, everyone. Stay focused. I got this. Ready anytime. Who, me? Ready and willing. I stand ready. Amazing. Let's get to it.
That helps. My muscles proud. Yeah! <laughs> 
trouble. We must all do our part. I feel my strength building. More hawks. Those feathery jerks are trying to take us out from both sides. grown.
Thank you. The air's swarming with those feathered freaks. Let's get them before we fight the beast.
That's the golden deer for you. Still far from my best. Yeah. 
how we dance. Ha! It's not luck, it's fate. Life doesn't always go as planned. Not bad. Ha! My brother will be pleased. So nice of you. Much needed. It was once a human, like Miklon? No, it's not possible. Almost a skew. No time like the present. no will or mind to call its own. You must now strike it down. That is the best you can hope to offer this poor lost soul. Can we help? Now's our chance.
I'm definitely tougher. Still not satisfied. My efforts have borne fruit. Getting stronger all the time. Our work is done. My, my, things did not go as planned. Let us return before any more hawks or wolves join us. But what was that demonic beast doing within the Red Canyon? Listen, Teach. No one likes aimless wandering more than me, but it's not worth dying over. Well, we're all okay now, so let's just focus on the positive. Ooh, maybe we can tell folks back at the monastery that we came here for battle training, with our dear professor's permission. Hilda, <laughs> you scamp. No one has a knack for getting out of trouble quite like you do. It is a gift, milady. Oh, is that right? Well, no one can get into trouble quite like you, so it works out. Oh, dear. I put us in a bit of danger there. <laughs> we are most fortunate that those delinquents followed us. You very nearly met your end. <laughs> what a marvelous professor you must be for all your students to be so concerned. Hmm, you seem more confident in your ability to teach. But that makes sense as you have me to help you out. <sighs> How disappointing to have dived so deeply into danger, and yet to have nothing to show. Huh? What is this strange feeling? My memories. Do you feel them stirring? How curious. You seem to have grown stronger. And all thanks to our journey to Xanado. It really was worth all that effort. Huh? You found this? I dare say you may find a use for that. You should decide how best to use that thing. But wow, we got a lot out of this trip. It was a bother for a spell, but in the end, I feel we should think fondly of our little trip. We actually had a delightful time, wouldn't you say? <laughs> It's raining, Professor. On rainy days, the wound I got from the Death Knight hurts like fire. Every time it aches, I get angry. You understand, yeah? I'm sure they had their reasons to kidnap Flame, but still... Did they really need to stab me? What'd I have to do with it? They ruined my beautiful porcelain skin. Worse, they took off before I could stab them back. So rude. 
That's rather enough, Manuela. Cease your moaning and give the professor a break. Oh, stuff it, Hanneman. Unlike you, the professor has a big heart and listens to me talk about any problem I have. More likely, your incessant ramblings offer no chance to interrupt. Is that true, Professor? You heard that, didn't you, Manuela? You are bothering the Professor. Ugh, go away, Hanneman. Leave us alone. And stop making me shout. It causes the old wound to hurt again. Then perhaps you'd best stay quiet. Keep your emotions in check, I'd say. Oh, don't worry, Professor. We do this all the time. Indeed, Manuela and I do not mix well. Been true for years. That said, if it were up to me, I would prefer speaking to her in a calmer manner. It's not like I enjoy bickering with you. So maybe keep your mouth shut more often. I state that which needs to be heard. For example... I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Same, same. Apologies. I am here because I have new information on the Death Knight's hiding place. What? Really? You could have started with that. Several students have reported possible sightings on the western edge of the sealed forest. While the authenticity of these reports has yet to be verified, it is still a very real possibility. I was thinking I would report this to Seth as a precaution. What? Why? We can't be slow. He's going to get away. Protocol on this matter requires reporting to Seth. Then Lady Rhea. Then... Professor, let's leave this old geezer behind and get going. Old geezer? I am barely 15 years your senior. I will not hear such... Stop talking! Let's gather a team and get going! I'll go scout ahead. I'm coming for you, Death Knight. Manuela, wait. It would not do to get yourself killed without someone to avenge you.
reinvent as often as necessary. Is that the one? Thanks a bunch! Manuela's in a tough spot, Professor. Even if she's only got herself to blame, we cannot abandon her. <laughs> we have plenty of visitors today. Let's stop their annoying rescue attempt. Now that is a woman. Uh-oh. They've noticed me. Here they come. Let's take them out. and willing.
Never underestimate an outsider. Stay focused. My turn? Ready any time. no match for me. Should I have held back?
appreciate. Sorry, but victory is mine. Well done. Favorite part. That's all there is to know. What is that? I feel my strength building. Thank you. 
bunch of meddlesome losers. Maybe we should take a hostage for leverage. Capture that woman. We'll show them what the Death God Gang's made of. Death God Gang? What kind of childish nonsense? Where's the Death Knight? Try again. a good try. Appreciate that. Another step forward. Thank you. 
Another one down. Things done. Splendid attack. Getting better with age. You did it! Progress suits me well. Underestimate an outsider. As expected. Thank you. 
Better luck next time. Getting stronger all the time. We are the Death God Gang. We're all unstoppable. Shut! Too easy. I'm grateful. Was a good try. Favorite part. I'm grateful. Much obliged. Flower, you know. Oh, yeah, getting the hang of it. Why, there is no death knight here. That student's testimony was, well, it was utter bunk. Hey, you, the weird old dude with a beard. What kind of crap are you mumbling to yourself there? I beg your pardon. Do not imagine you can insult me without some form of retribution. Shut
Peace is dire. I'm grateful. Thank you. Appreciate it. Death Knight? What gives? Death Knight? What nonsense are you talking now? Do we look like knights to you, lady? You're just lousy hill bandits. Well, I'll teach you to waste my time. Than before. Manuela, are you uninjured? A few scrapes and bruises, but yes, I'm well enough. Could anyone think that was the Death Knight? It was obviously just an ordinary bandit. Oh well, I may not have found my revenge, but at least we got to retrieve stolen goods. Manuela, you unthinking fool. Hanuman, I've heard enough already. How bloody stupid are you? If that were the real Death Knight, you'd have new, likely fatal wounds to match your first. Do you know how much you worried all of us? You should be ashamed. Oh, no. This is a matter of life and death. It should not and must not be taken lightly. You're right. 
So there, I said that. It's true, but... Ugh. I'm sorry. I'll apologize to everyone later. Huh. I should say I'm sorry as well. I lost my temper just now. I see you act so irrationally and I lose my wits. I care about you a great deal and wish to see you safe. Will you believe me? Yes, of course. I'm the same way after all. I let my emotions get the best of me. Ugh, we're both too old to be shouting all the time. You're awfully quick to put a bow on this. Are you sick of us already, Professor? You're part of this, Professor. We are the only teachers this academy has. No need for bickering. Well said, Hanneman. Would you care to join me for a celebratory drink? That sounds lovely. Perhaps a nice cup of tea is in order. I learned that was easy thanks to you. <laughs> I could get used to this. Let's do this again. Thanks, Professor. That's real nice of you to say. I... It's all instinct now. You're... Of course I was right. What now? Do I get a reward? Professor! This is so good. Can I have seconds? Eating delicious food really takes my worries away. Well, we did it. I see. It's all making sense now. Now I see the heart of it. I'm 
getting the hang of it. Well worth the effort. Perhaps I'll expand the scope of my research. I suppose it's working. I can really do this. Um, did you need something from me? Thank you very much. Delicious. Huh? Wow. Huh? I'm not sure. Yes. Thank you very much for the tea. I look forward to doing this again. Time to rest. Hey, Raphael. Th this scene, why is it oddly familiar? <laughs> it's almost like this stuff is drawn to me whenever I'm in town. I'm just happy I can use my muscles to help out around here. But isn't your goal to become a knight? Running errands isn't exactly a knight's job. I heard that proper knights always help those in need. Isn't that right? Well, you're not wrong, but I think most people would consider that only a small part of a knight's duty. A knight's main function is to fight and defend, don't you think? That said, I'll agree that helping anyone and everyone who needs it makes you a remarkably virtuous person, which is even better. If someone virtuous becomes a knight, they'll be a virtuous knight, right? That's about as proper as you can get. I... yes, I suppose so. I, for one, would certainly look for virtue in any knight that I recruited. So you're saying I'm the type of knight you want to hire for House Regan? Absolutely. If I somehow actually manage to become the head of my house, that is. I can't see into the future, but you have my word that I'll do all I can to help make your dream a reality. That is, if you're actually able to let somebody help you out rather than helping out the whole world by yourself. I'm not going to stop helping others, but you can do me all the favors you want. All this talk of being proper is making me hungry. For my first favor, why don't you bring me a snack? <sighs> As expected, I am not finding anything at all. Flame, are you looking for something in particular? Oh, I was just hoping for general reading that might illustrate the lives of city dwellers. Right. Well, there should be regional records somewhere around here. I haven't need of official records or anything of the like. Just some light reading on the subject. Light reading? What do you mean by that? Oh, you know, books that cover things like what types of activities young people enjoy, how they spend their free time, popular fashions and trends, things of that sort. And even, perhaps, stories about romance? Ah, I see what you're getting at. Try asking a traveling merchant. I hear they keep stock of books like that. As for here, I don't think you're going to find much aside from a bunch of stuffy records. We do get new books donated on a fairly regular basis, but then Sedith, well, you know. My brother? I am afraid I do not follow. 
Apparently, he directly approves every book before it's allowed to grace these shelves. You know, to make sure nothing inappropriate gets through. I see. I did not realize he had a hand in such things. Well, I suppose it really is no use searching here. Why were you looking for those sorts of books anyway? Well, truth be told, I am not particularly well-versed in the ways of ordinary people. Seteth never taught me of such things, and he strictly forbade me from spending much time out and about on my own. Yeah, I had a feeling that might be the case. Sounds like Seteth. I understand and appreciate that he acted from a place of concern, of course. Without a doubt. It's obvious that you're his whole world, for better or worse. By the way, I've been wondering, are you two from a noble family? Hmm? You've clearly had a rather high-class upbringing, and both of you have crests. That can only mean you come from a prominent bloodline, right? Of course not. No, no, you, you are mistaken. So, your refined way of speaking isn't because of your upbringing? I was not aware that my speech differed so greatly from my companions. Do I really sound so... formal to you? Well, look, don't worry too much about it. I'm probably just overthinking things. Probably. Ah, oh, Lawrence. Do you have a moment to spare, my dear? Hello, Professor Manuela. I trust all is well with you. I am quite well, quite well, thank you for asking. You are always such a gentleman. Thank you for saying so. How may I be of service? I was wondering if we might spend a little time together. Maybe chat a bit? Certainly. It is an honor to speak with someone as elegant as yourself. I've just made tea. Would you like a cup? Oh, that would be just lovely. Lawrence, I hope you won't think it too forward of me, but... I was wondering if you could explain a poem to me. It goes like this. Verdant rain soothe my aching heart like a cherished friend. Amid time's flow I mourn, bonds I'm not sure I can ever rend. As my mind clings to desperate thoughts, here it comes, horse bow moon and summer's end. Oh, that's, um... That's my poem. As I suspected, I've checked absolutely everyone's handwriting. It's a sad poem, though, isn't it? Feels lonely, possibly even, dare I say, defeated. What makes you feel that way, Lawrence? Why aren't you happy? I very much want to know. Well, I suppose I... Wait, why are you reading my poetry? Where did you even get that? I found it, and when I saw the words, I read them. Well, that's what people do when they see words. They read them. Kindly return that at once. Reading someone else's work without permission. What an egregious breach of etiquette. Uh, honestly. Oh, dear. Snatching at something someone else is holding. How violent. It's not like you to lose your composure, Lawrence. Please, just forget you ever saw it. I beg you. I'm afraid I could never forget that peek into the darkness of your soul. Nor would I want to. Then at the very least, would you kindly promise not to mention it to anyone else? Don't feel embarrassed. No. Be proud. It's a lovely piece of writing. Quite revealing. I'd never guess you'd have such hidden depths. Tell me more. That's quite enough. Oh, that's absolutely adorable. So bashful. I simply must hear more of his poetry sometime soon. Oh, where is it? Oh, hello there, Ignatz. Yes, hello, Hilda. What's the matter? Oh, it's just that I'm looking for a book. I can't seem to find it anywhere. I think it might be on one of the high shelves. Could you give me a hand? Uh, um, I'm really sorry, but actually... Hmm? Some people got hurt while training in magic. I'm rushing to grab some medical supplies. 
Whoa, that sounds serious. Don't let me stop you in that case. Thanks. I'll be right back. Sorry to keep you waiting. Now, what was the book you were looking for? Is everyone okay? Yes, it turned out to just be some scrapes and bruises. Oh, is that the book? Yes, I went and grabbed a ladder. That made the book much easier to find. Ah, uh, huh. You could have just asked someone else for their help. Well, you said people were hurt, so I just figured everyone had more important things to do. Honestly, I don't love heights. It was a bit scary up there, but here we are. I managed. I see. Well, I'm sorry I couldn't help. Why are you apologizing, silly? Surely first aid is more important. I thought you might wait for me to come back, that's all. Oh, but giving first aid, that's not an easy job. I figured you'd be worn out. The last thing I want is to push you too hard. That's thoughtful of you, Hilda. Thanks for watching out for me. Oh, don't mention it. Do my cleaning again and we'll call it even. You did such a lovely job last time. The floor was practically sparkling. I swear the air even tasted cleaner. I'm glad you liked it. You're really good at giving compliments, you know that? I suppose that's why everyone's so eager to help you with things. Exactly. By heaping praise on people, they're more eager to help me in the future. Oh, but that's not what's happening here. I was really, truly impressed by your cleaning skills. I wish I had everything figured out like you. Ignatz? Why are you following me? Oh, I... Can I help you with something? You must be struggling by yourself, Cyril. This is my job. I do it myself. Well, we could do it so much faster working together. You don't have to. I don't mind. Plus, if we finish early, you can go and do whatever you like. You want to know what I want to do? Sure, tell me. I'd like to do my assigned work without you pestering me. Oh, okay. Why are you always so concerned about what I'm doing anyway, Ignatz? It's kind of weird, you know? Wow, it hurts when you put it like that. I've been meaning to ask you about Almira. You always look so busy, but I thought you might talk to me if I helped with your work. There's nothing about Almira worth talking about. But I find it all so fascinating. Please, tell me about the people, the buildings, the flowers. Ooh, any scenery you liked looking at. Nope, never took much time to look at anything. Why do I gotta talk about stuff I don't want to talk about just because you're bored, Ignatz? Even though you endured hardships, there must have been some things you enjoyed. You don't get it. Look, I'm gonna go. Should have done it already. Okay, sorry to bother you. Let me know if I can help. Oh, and I hope we can talk some other time. But there's nothing to talk about. Jeez, what a weirdo. Hey, Hilda. You said you wanted to talk? Whoa. What's with all these expensive necklaces? Why do you have them all laid out like that? Pretty, right? I'll let you choose whichever you like. Huh? Why would you do that? Just choose. I want you to have one. I'm not going to accept a gift like that without a reason. Even with a reason, I'd probably decline. Look how gorgeous they are, though. Wearing beautiful things gives you energy. Maybe for you. Yes, for me. Why would it be any different for you? Because to me, those are just fancy decorations. Take this one, for example. How did you come by it? This was the first necklace I picked out for myself. It doesn't suit my style nowadays, so I don't often wear it. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. The sentimental value of each one. These necklaces are nice and all, but I don't have any special feelings or memories about any of them. But this charm... It's packed with things I don't want to forget. Captain Gerald's teachings and a lot of memories, too. Even if, to you, it's just a dirty hunk of wood. Hmm. 
I do understand. But still, you're not going to be very popular with the boys if you keep wearing that dirty old thing. <laughs> like I care about that. You can drop the whole stony face to act. Come on, I'm offering to help you here. I could even make a charm for you as a gift if you're really hung up on sentimental value. Make a charm for me? You do that? Sure, why not? I don't want you to be alone your whole life. Besides, this happens to be a talent of mine. It'll be really, really cute, so you'd better wear it. Sure. I can't just accept a gift for nothing, though. I'll make one for you, too, if you'll teach me how. And I'll put plenty of feeling into it, so when we exchange them, it will really mean something. Oh, that sounds lovely. I'll gladly teach you how, but make me something cute, okay? I'll see what I can do. What is it? I assume still. Hmm. What? Professor, let me sing for you. Do you not like my voice? It would make a Pegasus dance with joy. I can't sing very loud. Thank <laughs> you. 
sounds fun. Let me show you my cooking talent. Hmm. A little more secret spice and... Hey! No peeking! That looks delicious. Goddess, forgive me. I've just got to indulge. Yeah, you just get it, Professor. This is my favorite. Amazing. My fave, in fact. Do you like it too? Ooh, <laughs> I love this stuff. Did you know that? to eat when you stare my apologies you and the professor are both so fascinating I simply cannot help myself My compliments to the chef. This is my absolute favorite. How did you know, Professor? my thanks. Need something? This one? You're all set. See you again soon. feeling professor you look ra are you sick thank you i am here for the invitation a fresh and fruity aroma oh yes this is my kind of tea thank you This flavor is exquisite. Oh? Splendid! Indeed. 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 Do you think so? I am not mindlessly following my father. When it is time to make a choice, I decide what I will do. I see. 
indeed. Oh my, this is lovely. Oh. How kind of you. Oh. How kind of you. This was wonderful. Next time, I will provide the tea. Farewell. my own strength. Should have trained better. Ah, Marianne. Praying to the goddess? Yes, I am. Excellent. So persistent in your devotion. I quite admire that about you. Oh, no. It's not like that. No need for false modesty. I hardly know anyone with more piety. I need to be going. Wait a moment. Oh, um, yes? Uh, did you need something? I have a suggestion. I have been meaning to tell you about it for a while. Have you ever considered projecting more confidence? Your every word is laden with pessimism and devoid of enthusiasm. To gain the trust of commoners, you must appear self-assured at all times. I have no need to earn the trust of the common people as a noble. All I want is to live a quiet life and to not be a bother to anyone. I dare not hope for anything beyond that. But you are the only daughter of the esteemed Margrave Edmund. Regardless of what you hope for, 
you must concede that you have inherited certain responsibilities by virtue of your birth. If that's the case, then I don't care to be a responsible person. Farewell. One would think she does not wish to be a noble. Goodness, Hilda, you look worried. Is something the matter? Oh, Mercedes, I was on my way to the greenhouse to water the flowers. But I have a meeting with the professor right now, so I'll have to be quick. It must be urgent to call you at this hour of the morning. Go see what the professor needs from you. I can take care of the flowers. Oh, are you sure? Thank you so much. It's no problem at all. Let me take the water from you. Thank you again. I'll see you at lunch. Right. I'm off. Oops, my meeting with the professor was tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Mercedes. Hmm, still no Mercedes. All she had to do was water a few plants. I didn't think it would take this much time. It's almost noon. Maybe I'll go see what she's up to. And that's the last of that. Perfect. What's taking you so long? Oh, Hilda. Is your meeting with the professor over already? Um, yes. It's almost lunchtime. What are you still doing here? Lunchtime? I hadn't realized how late it was. After watering the flowers, I noticed that the greenhouse was in need of some tidying. I must have gotten a bit carried away. It's so pleasant working in here. Oh, pleasant. Sure. You're such a kind person. No, no. It was my pleasure. Anyway, shall we head to the dining hall? <sighs> I should have just done it myself. Waiting for her was so exhausting. What was that, Hilda? Come along, I'm hungry. Uh, coming! What should we eat? We've got to go, now. The situation in Ramire Village has changed drastically. We don't know much more than that. We're hearing reports that the villagers are killing each other. Some say houses are burning. Regardless, we need to move. Kill! Kill! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> help! Somebody please help! What's going on here? This is unbelievable. There's no way to tell who's lost their mind from who's mad with fear. If we don't act quickly, things are just going to keep getting worse. I really don't want to get involved here. But we can't leave these people on their own, right? How about we hit him hard enough to knock him out, but not hard enough to kill him? That's too reckless, but... Uh, I'll admit I can't think of a better option. If some must die, just know it was by the will of the goddess. Stop that, Marianne. We have to save all of them. There's no way this madness is by the will of the goddess. Nobles are responsible for the safety of the commoners. By the honor of House Gloucester, I swear that I will save them all. Claude, there are some strange-looking people here. So you noticed, too. Look, there's a suspicious group hiding amongst the villagers. Could they be the culprits? If so... There you have it. Our objective is clear. Take down that suspicious group and rescue the villagers. Thank you. 
Back to the drawing board. There are some suspicious-looking ruffians out there, 
but our top priority is to rescue the villagers. Got it? I'll rein in the villagers who've turned violent. You focus on rescuing the others. Let us away. Well done. Thanks. Let's get to it. I got this. Kill. Kill. No. Who, me? Stay focused. to me. Ready anytime. I stand ready. Ready and willing.
The one giving orders to those weird ruffians. Isn't that Tomas? Tomas, what in the world are you doing here? I'm not Tomas. My name is Solon, the savior of all. What's the matter? 
So shocked you can't even speak. <laughs> you were so easily fooled by my disguise. I was hiding away in Derek Mock to get the blood of that little girl called Flame. With her blood, we'll be one step closer to realizing our goal. Of fun here too. That's the Death Knight. He must be an ally of Tomas, or Solon, or whoever he is. Appreciate it.
have an idea. Rescued as many as we can. Now it's time to capture Sol.
not the one I crave. It's not luck, it's fate. Underestimated me. Aha, I'm getting it. Appreciate it. You're too kind. I'm hardly trying. This is what I do.
with you. Thank you. You are but a savage, insignificant beast. Yet you think you can kill me?
does he want, anyway? In any case, we need to take care of Sola. all do our part. Why have you gone after this village? What are you planning? <laughs> I could have conducted this experiment on any test subjects. Now that I have what I came for, I must bid you farewell. Wait! Damn it, he's gone. It's over. All we can do is focus on our next move. I'll have a look around the village. There may still be people who need our help. Looks like we somehow managed to sort things out, and casualties were kept to a minimum. They said they weren't picky about who they used as their test subjects. Because of them, the people of Ramire Village. There you are. That armor. So, you're the Flame Emperor. Yes. I believe you have met my subordinate, the Death Knight. Oh, we've met all right. But back to you. You're the one responsible for the destruction of this village. Do not get the wrong idea. What in blazes does that mean? It is true that I am working with Solon, but that does not mean our objectives are the same. Had I known they planned to do this, I would have stopped it. You have my word. Your words are meaningless. Now, I'll have to insist that you accompany us back to the monastery. I cannot abide that. However, if you wish to join forces, I will hear your plea. What? If left to their own devices, they will commit countless more violent acts like this one. Do you not wish to prevent that? With the sword of the Creator on our side, Solon would not be a threat. Pity, though not unexpected. Pray that you do not live to regret your choice. Gerald, Professor, have you seen Claude? What's wrong, kid? Huh? Oh, damn it! He's gone. Hey, I've been meaning to talk to you. Since coming to the monastery, you've changed. 
You've been angry since we first arrived in Ramayar village. And you look so happy when you're instructing the brats. Before the monastery, I'd never seen you bear your emotions like that. Not once. Then perhaps it's a good thing we came to the monastery. If only so I could see your face lit up like that. Or maybe there was never any reason for us to leave the monastery in the first place. Ah, uh, I've put my foot in my mouth, haven't I? Though I suppose it may be nearly that time. Come to my office when you next have a moment to spare. There's something I need to tell you. Just what was that about? I can't recall a time of old when you were at the monastery. I wonder what is hiding in the mist that is your past. Hey, Teach. That assignment wasn't my favorite, I've got to admit. I suppose pretending to be unaffected doesn't do anyone any good. That was terrible to behold. It's always hard to see innocents die. Hey, all you can do is keep smiling, keep marching. That's part of a leader's job. You can't give in to despair. Not just for me or for you, but for all of us in the Golden Deer House. We have to keep smiling so the others can move forward too. As long as we don't show that we're disheartened, they'll know they can make it too. That's what matters. Yeah, sorry for getting ahead of myself, Teach. That's how I feel, but how you handle it is really up to you. By the way, I hear that guy who calls himself the Flame Emperor showed up in Ramire Village. I couldn't believe it when Hilda told me the news. What could he be after? <laughs> I know I just laughed, but that really isn't funny, Teach. World domination. Hmm. Okay, actually, I wonder. They called this incident an experiment, and they said they got what they came for. That means they might take this success and attempt something even bigger next time. I hate to even consider it, but if they can replicate the incident at Ramire Village on an even larger scale, if we're not careful, we'll have a full-scale war on our hands then world domination wouldn't be a joke anymore. Flame, your timing is impeccable. Would you care to join us for a while, fair lady? What? Why? Oh my. Damn, she gave us the slip. In any case, I doubt she knows the full story. It seems more like she has something on her mind that she can't divulge. Seems like it would be better to push Sedith for an explanation. Or, best of all, to go above his head and ask Rhea. Now that we know Tomas was an enemy, we can't be sure that exposing the Church's secrets would be to our benefit. Where are the answers I seek? Where are they? You did well handling that awful business in Umayyar village. I am certain the Goddess shares in our grief at the senselessness of that calamity. More importantly, I was shocked to hear that our own Tomas was actually a Dark Mage. I must reflect on our blindness. You surely must. You failed to notice that a wrath was hiding in your home. Pathetic! Who are these wicked foes? How did Tomas escape your gaze? Tomas came to the monastery 40 years ago, by recommendation of House Ordelia of the Alliance. Around eight years ago, he went back to House Ordelia, before returning to the monastery once again, just last year. After having worked at Garrig Mach for decades, why would he betray us now? Just what did he hope to accomplish? Yuritsa became a professor at the Officers' Academy because of a recommendation from the Imperial Nobility. Supposing that he is the Death Knight, that means that our enemy is an organization that has taken root in at least two territories. In the long history of the Church of Seros, no, 
Long before even that, there have been an endless number of threats to the peace of Fodlan. Yet those who oppose us still operate in the shadows. Their identity is a mystery. I believe that Solon and the Death Knight are merely one part of a much larger whole. A threat to Fodlan's peace? That means we have no choice. We have to stop them all. I have truly come to rely on you. I believe that the monastery will remain safe so long as we have you. We do not yet know the enemy's objective or whereabouts. For now, please devote yourself to preparing for whatever comes next. That is all for today. Professor, please wait. I know there is much that you still do not understand. However, one thing is clear. You possess great power. I believe that you are destined to be a source of great hope for all. In any case, I expect great things from you. Walk this world proudly, dear Professor. May the Goddess Sothis protect you. The Goddess Sothis? Is that what she just said? Is something the matter? I see. So this is the goddess's true name. Please do not use it carelessly. Farewell. Do not say something that we may regret. She... I... What exactly am I? For now, let's leave this place. Please, go.